Hey guys, I have a What's in My Pin Case and Pin Collection video for you guys tonight. And I love trying out different types of pins, different colors, and scents. My favorite types of pins are rainbow swirl pins, and then the second up is scented, and then I like glitter pins is my third favorite. So I usually alternate between a different variety of pencil cases. Usually one's kind of smaller one, like that pink backpack right there, or the pizza pin case like this one. This one's I've been using for a while. And it's just, it looks like real pizza. I put a washi tape that I've been into at the moment into it. That one's a grumpy cat one. So the pins I've been into these days are these three that kind of look like jelly rolls, but these are the Target ones from the dollar section. This grumpy cat gel pin, this Lamy with some scented ink in there, and then swirl pins are back, so I've really been into those. I've used like a pack and a half of those already. And then this Big Bang Theory pin, and I've also been liking the scented pins from Cento's, the metallic and glitter ones of those. So this pink pin case right here is a... Kipling 100 pins case and I hadn't heard of those really much until this year I had been looking for something to hold a bunch of pins and this has a uh, pin slots and then this large spot in the bottom of it and actually you can actually cram 100 pins in there but it is pretty packed but I'll show you some of the pins I've gotten here these two I'd been wanting for a long time these Sniffit pins that I, I don't think they actually make anymore but they're sending like lavender vanilla there's also a soap one peppermint I've been wanting those for a few years ever since I heard of them so I was excited to finally find those. These three right here are popcorn, pizza, and strawberry scented. And it's the grip on those that's is scented, not the ink. These monster pins here. These highlighters are really cool. I've got the pink and purple one in here. They're Cure Rich glitter highlighters. I don't know why those didn't exist when I was a kid, but those are pretty fun. This caboodle, <laughs> this vintage caboodle I got this year, and it looks just like one I had as a kid. I used to put dinosaur erasers in there, and my friends from school and I would have little dinosaur and other erasers that we'd kind of play dolls with and make little houses for. So I got this to use the journaling kit, this vintage caboodle that looked just like the one I had. And I put some pins in here. I keep the containers of some of these pins, um, like that monster one, to make it still feel like some of these are new and kind of more exciting instead of just leaving them loose and open. So yeah, I've got stickers in this pin case, caboodle thing. I sometimes put the zebra sniffit pins in here instead of in the pink thing. There's an orange scented one, the soap scented one. The soap one's fun. And this is a scented Signo pin. I can't get actually get that pink pin to work. They don't make those anymore either, but the orange and the blue blue, blue one, it's blueberry, smells nice. These are some Target scented gel pins right there. Then some washi tape and candy. And then here are some of the things in that pink backpack pin case. First off, this is my childhood pin case. Little Twin Stars. I'm obsessed with Sanrio and Lisa Frank. That's pretty much my childhood. So occasionally I'll use that pin case, but I usually just use a newer one so I don't completely wear that one out and so I can cram more crap in it. So the pins here are these Sarasa Milky pins, like milk color pins in that pastel pink. This mint one and the purple one are my favorites. It's going to take me a second to find them. I'm doing a voiceover because... <laughs> I got distracted doing my pins, so I just decided to do this. But yeah, those are really cute colors, and you can actually see them. They're pa still pastel, but you can actually see them if you're writing. They're dark enough to see. These G2 metallic pins, I've been wanting to try those for a long time. And those are really pretty. The two main types of pins that I've been coming to over the past 10 years have been regularly journaling are more or less the G2 pins, like that, except non the metallic, and the jelly roll pins, usually in the metallic jelly rolls. Sometimes I'll just use those four color four ray pins, the click pins and roller balls, but I definitely love gel pins. Right here are the Sarasa scented Chupa Chup pins. Those are really lightly scented. Here is a mica pin. I've been wanting to try those for a long time. And those pins are really pretty. I just haven't used them quite as much as I thought I would. It is a finer tip. <laughs> usually like a thicker tip than that. <clears throat> Here's a high tech C, another fine tip one. I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're made in Japan, but that one does write really well. It's the only high tech C that I actually have. These two are the Pintel Slicky Pins, which are kind of short. Another Japan brand. Here are the Kira Rich Highlighters that I sometimes put in that pink pencil case. I tend to alternate cases and just add some variety because I get bored easily. Here is a 2D Fruity Scented Rainbow Pin. Those colors are pretty light to write in. It's That's more better for doodling and stuff. Here's one of those Sniffits Pins in peach. Here's a jelly roll in the... they used to call them lightning pens. I can't remember what they call them anymore. They're gold shadows. So it's like that color, but it mostly just looks gold. I don't use those too much, and some 
paper it tends to go through, but those are kind of cool. I like their metallic the best. That's why I usually, and we used to write notes in those metallic jelly rolls in high school, and the glitter ones on those are pretty. So here are, I'll show you some of the pins back in here again. This french fry pin, it's kind of hard to frown when you're writing with a french fry. I sometimes put those pins in that roll-up case there. I kind of modified it and cut some of the elastics so I could add in some thicker pins, but I sometimes put them in there, sometimes put them in this pink case. But yeah, here are the Jelly Roll metallic ones. On the left, those were the Jelly Roll pastel ones, which they don't make anymore. But I bought those pastel ones vintage, and they were at least 15 years old and they still work, which is kind of cool. They used to make those pastel baby color pins in a fine tip so they were I don't think they were as popular because of that I actually took the nibs off that and replaced them with medium nibs so now I have medium bold like bold colored pastel colors but maybe if we all email jelly roll and ask them to bring back the baby colors maybe they would because those are really cute I really like that color combo I'll show all those pins that were in that pink case out like this because it'd be kind of easier there's some swirl pins on the right jelly roll and glitter metallic and a few of those Sugar Rush Cine pins from Target, a few V5 Precise pins, and here are those pastel, no, those rainbow, what do I call them, rainbow spaceship pins right there. Some of the heart, like the cutesy pins right there. I'll show them a little bit closer here, but here are the extras. I'll show you the packs now. <laughs> I'm trying to talk fast because this is a voiceover, and I don't want this video to be too long. Here are the juice pins and pilot juice and scented. They smell like cereal. There's a milk one that smells like milk, a coffee one. Those are really fun. The rest smell just like fruity cereal. Here's the container that those Sarasa milk colors came in. The mica's right here. I actually do use pins. I, I believe in the case just so it feels like they're newer and fun, funner, funner. Is that a word? Funner for longer. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. The Cura Rich Glitter. No. The Lafluche pins that I have in my other pin case right now. One smells like strawberry, another smells like chocolate. They smell like desserts. And I do like these, but these are lightly scented, so I can't smell them as much as I'd like to. I like to really be able to smell it. So I've been into those Sugar Rush metallic ones lately, especially the Berry Delight or whatever it's called. That one smells really good. Here are the Fine Tech, I think they're called Dong A. <laughs> I kind of was tempted to get them just because the name is just such an odd, um, like, that's just an odd brand name, I guess. And, like, name of the pin but that kind of pastel green one in there was cool on those dong a fine tech and then there's like it's a really long knit pin name anyway these jelly royal souffle pins are pastel colored but the ink it's it kinda, it's supposed to look a little bit raised so most people use those as craft pins not for writing so i don't use those as much as i would as i thought i would even though i like the colors they're kind of it kind of looks like this the ink it doesn't look dry even after it dries anyway here are the american crafts pins that have bubbles on the side. I've been wanting, I saw those online like last year. I've been wanting them for a long time. Finally found those. Here are Milky Lunar pins that still sort of work. Not too well because they're really old, but I bought them vintage. Here are pins I've been wanting to try forever. The Zebra Color Exchangers. I, I don't think they've made these since like 1999, but the ink on the cap is what it looks like on dark paper versus the pin color itself, which looks like on white paper. So the paper, the pin ink looks different on different colored paper, which I thought was really fun. And really trying to talk fast. <laughs> anyway, here are some of the Pilot G2s. These, I don't have any problems with skipping or anything. I do like these. I just like to alternate about the pins I use because I get bored. But those do write really well. The Sarasa pins and some juice pins in here. Sarasa, I can knock one of those out in like eight pages or less. But they do do... They do dry really fast, and the colors are nice and strong. The G2 pins do seem to last longer. I know they kind of advertise that they do, and they actually do seem to last a bit longer. These rainbow spaceship pins, they're actually called... What are they called? Uh, they're the Paper Mate Ink Joy. There we go. Anyway, these are some super fine tip pins from Target. I haven't used much yet, but I plan to eventually. The... Made in China flower pins that a lot of people have. Here are some disposable pilot fountain pins and some of those precise V5s. I've actually been using that precise V5 purple one a decent amount this year. When I first got those a year, I think it was two years ago now, maybe even longer than that, it seemed like too fine of a tip, but now I've actually kind of gotten into those. Now that I use some straight up needle points like the Mica and the Dong A fine tip, whatever the rest of the name of that one is. 
So I do like those more now. Here are some Paper Mate Flare. I these the colors in these are cool. I really like the lavender purple one and the yellow one. And you can see that. You can it's dark enough that you can see to write with, which is cool. These I've been obsessed with. I've used like a pack and a half since these came out. I've been wanting to try them for a few years. Or I've been wanting them again for a few years. My family thinks I use these a lot as a kid. I don't really remember that anything from my childhood. So yeah. These ride in multicolors and you do have to use a few pages of just it look looking like plain blue green whatever before it starts swirling but eventually it swirls that pin i just showed you can actually put a g2 refill if you modify it in there if you just make it longer or if you sand down a mb refill you can put that in a pilot g2 instead that found pen ink right there is emerald de chavor it's the only bottle i have right now i have some ink found pen samples but that's the only one full bottle and it looks fine on most pages paper but if you put it on uh emerald no if you put it on tomo river paper it really looks cool it's got like a red sheen to it and some glitter these pins right here i've had forever i've had that pink polka dot pen for probably like six or seven years this tinker toy pen i've had at least that long too and i use that whole ink up it's refillable which is cool but it's really fun and if you get bored writing and you just kind of want to mess with something it's fun to be able to pull all the little pieces of game pens i love game pens i'll show you those here in a second this is a really long video but if you want me to do more pin videos or show you what these pins look like written out, let me know. I just didn't want this video to be like three hours long if I'm trying to show ink samples. And these pins, I've this is many years worth of pins and sales and stuff. Some of those big stick pins, <laughs> big stick pins, uh, were twelve purple pins for a dollar shipped to my door. And some of those, those ghetto pin sets, were, <laughs> I lovingly call them ghetto pin sets. It was about forty-eight pins for less than seven dollars. I'll try to put in some of the brand names below, but these y are yummy, yummy scented pens. They have online, but they also have Cracker Barrel, and those you can actually smell. It's nice and strong scent. These are the Target pens. But anyway, this is many years worth of pens, and some of those, that Mary Englebright pen that I showed a second ago with the Scotty on it and the Mary Englebright flowers was from, I think, 1999. So some of this stuff is really long, really old. There was the Mar the... Other brand of swirl pens that I've used a few packs of those too. Here's the Office Depot pin carousel. These skip a tiny bit, but I still really like them. I really like the carousels. I'll always keep that. I mean, I'll keep the pens too, but I'll keep the pin carousel longer. Here are the the I call, I lovingly call these the ghetto pen sets. I'm just gonna go with that. <laughs> some of these pens that you get have the plastic containers like this, and some are just in a normal disposable plastic box but anyway these are the scented pens that I that were in that pink pen case and it's the grips that are scented but I've liked those for a number of years I've had a strawberry one for years and I used it up it was really I don't know I just love scented pens even if the ink's not scented it's just the pen itself it's just fun here are some of those cheap pens that were in that 48 pack for seven dollars or something some of those especially the glitter ones do throw down a lot of ink so you know you can knock one out in six or eight pages but for f you know almost 50 pins for seven dollars i don't really mind it i get enough enjoyment out of it it they total it lasts enough there are some of the big stick pins in here and some of the more officey ones i put in these plastic container that piece of corn <laughs> pin was shipped to my door i ordered that from china for like 10 cents this is a blacklight pen. The blacklight shows up stronger at first. Eventually it doesn't look as strong so I don't write entire pages and then I'll just decorate the page and then write normal ink. Like hey put a blacklight on this page. These are the Friction Friction pens. I love the colors of and the style of. The colors are perfect but they're erasable by heat. Like if you rub if you rub the top on the page it will cause the ink to erase. So if you put your if you write in that ink in your journal and you leave your journal a car the ink is just going to erase. You can put it in the freezer and the ink will start to come back but I put it in my freezer and the yellow didn't come back as vividly as it was before so it depends on what temperature of freezer you have. Mine's just not quite cold enough to make it look like it did before. I don't really want to have to think about which journal I use that ink in. I don't want to have to put you know dozens of used journals in a freezer to <laughs> make sure I you can still read the pages if, say, the AC goes out or I, you know, leave my journals in a trunk or something. Like, I don't have to think about that. So I just use those for planners or temporary notes. Here are some of those 2D fruity pens and some random scented p 
pins. There are some of some of those Candy Crush pins from Target. I'll put in here. These are some of the. They're called Basic with a Z at the end pins, and those were four dollars for a pack of the whole pack, which is pretty nice. Here are the Sugar Rush pins from Target. A lot of these I found on sale, like the flare ones I found on sale too, and. I mean, many years worth of stuff, so you can find good deals. I just like to leave, if I've been eyeing a pin set, I'll leave in the, my online cart for a few weeks and see if the price will go down or if I can find a coupon. But I do like the cheap pins like that, especially the scented pins, and those tend to use up pretty quick. So I'll probably knock out those in less than eight pages. Probably want to say like six pages. Here are some Ink Joy pins. These were $2 for the entire set, which was cool. I have those same in this and with the non-decorated version, but the, the orange one in this leaked all over my pens. I'm not quite happy with them yet right now, but they are very cheap and they last longer than gel pens usually. And they dry instantly and they sometimes leak over your stuff. So I've got this in a Ziploc bag, but they are vi very vivid colors and they're very affordable, which is great. Here are some color click pens, multicolor some Pintel RSVP, some Bic crystal pins. I found those on clearance at a grocery store. Here are the Papermate profile pins. I'm pretty sure I've had these for four or five years. They write fine. Actually, they write well. And they were also very cheap, but I guess the style and the type is just isn't my favorite. I like gel pins and I like kind of more cutesy stuff, but they do write, you know, perfectly fine. And... I think that's about all my, p oh no, <laughs> not all my pens. These I've been eyeing for a long time. These Miffy pens, they've got bunnies and apples on them. I found that whole tin pin set for four ninety nine. I left it in my shopping cart for a couple of months and the price finally went down. So I grabbed that and then I've been eyeing with this for a long time too. These pins are pretty tiny. I mean, they're pretty short, about, f I want to say about four and a half inches, <laughs> which doesn't sound too satisfying, but they do smell nice and that brown one is vanilla which is really cool these are the pens i've been obsessed with lately and they've got nice strong scents you do have to kind of put your nose up to it when you when you write but i can smell them a little bit even when i'm just writing which is my favorite that purple metallic one is my favorite scent berry delight or whatever it's called and the glitter ones are cool too i did knock out that purple metallic pen in about seven pages so they do go through kind of fast but you know, if you're just in the mood for some fun pens, it can, I don't know, I don't mind. <laughs> it is in kind of a splurge thing every now and then. But yeah, there are the glitter ones. And then these pens right here are really cute and they smell nice, but that skipped every few letters. I've never had a pen skip that much in my life. So I ended up doodling with these instead and shaking them a lot to try to get them to work. Anyway, here are my, maybe you'd have better luck if you're, it's warmer in your climate. My room is kind of cool, so maybe that's why. Anyway, <laughs> game pens right here. I've got Tinker Toy get Operation, and it actually buzzes when you use the tip to operate on them. A Light Bright with little pegs inside, a Play-Doh pen, Etch-A-Sketch, Connect 4, and Trouble. And there's still a few more that I've been eyeing, like the Battleship one. I really want the Hungry Hungry Hippo and the Candyland game, game keychain. But eventually, one day, I'll hopefully get that, and... Yeah, the little trouble board actually is works. These are black ink. I don't use them all the time, but it is fun to have a little miniature game board in your pen case. And that's my pen case and my pen collection. So let me know what your favorites are. Have a good night. Bye.